So one of my very favorite all-time Pastor Keith memories is, uh, I'm sure it was a busy Christmas joy time, and uh, we were playing in the church service that morning, and um, we had practiced, done our one through, run through, it was awful. And uh, I said, gosh, are we going to have time to do it again? And you just went, nope. And you turned around and walked up. And uh, my family and I referenced that very much. Um, just a lot of memories over the years with, uh, you know, joy bells, and Christmas joy, and choir, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, thank you for all the years that you've uh, loved on my family. And uh, good luck in Tennessee. Have fun, and we may come and visit you. <laughs> so, when I got to Bethany Church, I got involved with handbells pretty quickly. I also had experience playing violin, but I was a little bit gun shy to mention to Pastor Keith that I also played violin because just from knowing a little bit, a bit about him, I just had the feeling that I was going to be recruited for another musical group. So I tried to keep it under wraps, but pretty soon, uh, once I had told him, it was he, he did a good job of recruiting me for both groups, handbells and orchestra. Um, Thanks, Pastor Keith. I really have enjoyed working with you. I hope you have a wonderful time in Tennessee and um, hope to see you again. But if, if not, look forward to being with you in heaven. Well, hello, Pastor Keith. I am Walter Vandenham, and I sit in front normally over at Belt of Grace Baptist Church. And I remember one time we sang the Hallelujah Chorus, and I was doing just fine until I decided to look up to see whether or not I was singing in time with your hands waving left and right. And then I looked back down, and all the words were the same, and I couldn't find where I was at. And for some reason, you were able to identify that I had lost my place. <laughs> you identified it so well that when the song was over, you specifically called me out on it in front of the whole congregation, and I will always remember you for that. It's good to know you. Thank you for helping my kids learn how to keep time with ringing the bells. I appreciate you very much. My wife loves your choir, as does my daughter. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Keith, this is Dan. Um, it's hard to try to compress almost 30 years worth of memories into one. But the one thing I will always, always remember is when I first came to Bethany. Because I had gotten done talking with the pastor, and then I asked if he could introduce me to the choir director because I sang. And you were just coming down the hallway at the time and I remember walking up to you and I said, Keith, my name is Pastor Keith, my name is Dan, I sing bass, do you need me? And the biggest grin you I had ever seen on anybody's face is what you gave me and said yes. And that started a 25 year relationship with Christmas Joy and just a continuation in choir from there. So. Um, We've shared a lot of stuff in those years, great things along the, in the process that are way too many to try to mention. But I just want to thank you for your ministry. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for the love and support that you've always given and God's blessings to you in Tennessee and whatever else he asks for you to do, I know you'll, I know you'll do it. Hi, Pastor Keith. Um, unlike my husband, Dan, I have not had 25 years with you, but I've had quite a few years with you with Christmas Joy, and I really appreciate uh, when you took me into the bell choir and uh, just helped me to grow musically and with stage fright. I remember that first Christmas Joy you told me we had to perform uh, on stage with no music, which frightened the heck out of me, and then when you got us up and placed us, where was I? Right in the middle, right behind you. I don't didn't like attention like that before, but through the many years, I got used to being up on stage, and and as you know, we've had so much fun, and I just appreciate you and Barb, and uh, wish you the best of luck, and just love on those grandkids like you love on everybody else. Um, hopefully, we'll see you sometime in Tennessee. Thank you. Hi, Keith. Well, it took me a little while to get used to your energy level, but once I did, I came to see that you were the best thing to happen to Bethel Grace at just the time when we needed you. Um, I've loved your ministry. I love how you love people. Um, I love your cookies. I love how you take care of my kids and everything that you've taught them. 
Um, it's been a blast having you, and we will miss you very much. I also like Hey Let Me Wear Hats, because Joe didn't. Hey, Pastor Key. I remember the first time we met still. I was interested in playing handbells, and I came to the Bells and Pies event that you guys always had at Bethany after the we always had at Bethany after our season was over. And I approached you and said, I'm interested in handbells. And you immediately hugged me and welcomed me, and I started playing with you. The one thing you didn't tell me was that also meant that I was in Christmas joy. <laughs> That was a little unexpected surprise. Everything was a surprise that first uh, that first season of Bells, but I loved it. I am so blessed to have known you and so happy that you became a part of our lives. Um, I love your heart for God. I love your heart for others. I love your heart for my son. Please keep praying for him. Keep praying for all of us as we'll be doing for you on your new adventure in uh, Tennessee. We love you lots.